Hi, and welcome again with us. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, something I have done it uh, two years ago, I think at the end of 2016. Uh, actually, it was uh, my blog project. Uh, I have done video about it long time ago, but I try to. Uh, today I'm trying just to update the video uh, and talking more, maybe more professional about it, what I have done before the, with this uh, project. So let's get over a few about it uh, what's it my blog uh, so my blog is just a small project similar to wordpress but i have used uh, asp mvc5 uh, as a web application to develop that project oh why asp mvc5 because that time two years ago still i think we don't have that time don't have the uh, asp.net core you know as you know as you see i must most of my uh, videos about asp cores but uh, asp core but uh, i have done many projects same time on uh, mvc5 so uh, the database we have used sql server database to develop this website so we have used many technologies in the back end and in the front i, I will try to show you as much as we can and what we have used there so all these things came to develop a dynamic website dynamic as much as we can to make it for the end user and even for the uh, author to write his post to be easy as much as we can this is a personal project so maybe you can't you cannot find many ideas inside it but i tried to put my best best things this personalizing and design and develop this website so as you see here this uh, let's say the main features we have in this uh, blog or in this project so in this one we have uh, let's say two parts we have the dashboard to control your website and your post users everything's there same time you have the front for the end user to read the post or to comment on the post and do they see many things inside that so we'll see you there step by step so in the dashboard we have something called post to manage your all your posts same time you manage your tags your categories uh, your comment i have add something we can i can add my comment to uh, my local database or i can add it to third party uh, framework same uh, discuss i think even now facebook they provide this feature you can uh, link it with your with facebook but I, I just i have used this one only uh, widget we'll see exactly what what i mean with widgets i told you at the beginning we need to be dynamic as much as we can so i don't need the use uh, the user or the developer to open again the html page and to edit it to do something in the back for the the website if he let's suppose he need to add the google analytic and we have the user so we have ability to uh, we have ability to anyone can register to write the comment if he want to use the local uh, comment uh, so we have let's say permissions there uh, we have administrator and we have super user and we have the user so administrator as you know you can do everything super user we can give him uh, something to add edit post but no deleting nothing there just they can uh, do something less than the super as the administrator and we have the user just they can write comment uh, i have developed something just to upload the images i think this one because uh, i did it 2016 it's a bit old uh yeah that time i i mean not that uh, much with the asp so now there is many many uh, third party or javascript you can use to uh, do something better than what i have done now but we'll show you what i will show you what what we have now maybe in future we can do something different too uh, we have pages so as I told you, if someone need to add page, add tab, add something like that, it will be easier to him to, to add this page. Uh, reports, it's something nice to see how many posts you have did this month, how many comment on this post, uh, how many user we have you have already in your database, the usage of your database, even we'll see it in real example now. So the last thing is the settings. So you need something to control your website. 
I have add the Facebook login. I have add the recapture. Uh, so all all of these things need the uh, need secret key. So this secret key you don't want to add it in the back. So we add it to our database to store everything inside. This as example. So but we'll see everything uh, step by step now. Uh, let's go to the demo now. I will show you exactly what I have done there. And the good things I have this uh, uh, blog. It's uh, up and running more than three years on uh, my website and even I have many people they are very happy and they are used till, they are used till now uh, so let me just go to the Chrome and you can go to my personal website this website I'm sure running more than three years and more than dynamic with me and I'm happy with it till now so this is the home page for the end user they can see this uh, things so everything is here you can change it from data database from sorry from your uh, dashboard it's very easy, easy to be changed from database you can manage it and control everything is here let's suppose this I'm putting in the category putting a uh, 10 uh, category to be showing here I can put five I can put one I can remove it I can put, uh, hide it sorry uh, here I'm showing, I don't know how many, I think po five posts to be showing to the user. You can put two, can put ten, it's back to you. Even same for the recent article here too. Uh, I, I, I mentioned something about the widgets. You see this one here, uh, the Google AdSense, uh, or the Google ad, uh, Ads. Uh, this thing's as a widget, so most of the developers they are when they want add these things they go to the index page and the, the website to add it there what i have done no from the control panel i put something already here something let's say same container if you go to your database your uh, dashboard just put the code it will be showing here automatically and you can disable it and you can enable it as much as as you like uh, same for the footers here all of this widget we call them this Twitter widget and Facebook page widget. Uh, you can see the total users for today, uh, 2017 to all here too. All these things here, they are widget. Uh, so this is the home page. You can change the background too from there, and the this title too. So let's uh, open one of this post. So you can see written by who, and you can see a few things or uh, overview about the post. You can check the read more and when this one posted and here this photo you can cho uh, choose it by yourself so let's go to the this post and see what's it there so this post uh, here will show, uh, will show the end user the title and everything's written here uh, you can share it you can write the comment you can see the comments if you are not logged in you need to log in after that you can uh, comment or write anything you like uh, should be padding a few, a few things here at that time I was not that much in uh, C CSS so uh, here you can check you, this dynamic pages you can add them you can hide them you can delete them as much as you like uh, you can see the about you can see build your blog uh, support us and even in there's sparkle something different maybe one day we'll do video about it to talk about sparkle query so let's back to the home page go to login so login uh, you can register and even here you have the facebook uh, you can register through uh, facebook or login through facebook uh, just disable it i will show you how to enable it or disable it in the database uh, from the dashboard so here i have already writ, uh, write, uh, have written my email and password i need just to confirm the google recapture you can but remember me if you want and login so if you are administrator uh, should take you straight away to the dashboard so this the, the dashboard what you can see in the dashboard here you can see how many posts in last 24 hour you can see how many new comment last 24 hour you have see how many new user and the categories and here need to approve uh, have you something if someone uh, write comment on any post so I don't need to publish straight away I need to check it read it if it's okay I can publish it if not okay I can delete it I can see top articles here too 
uh, the zero here how many comment on it but it should be local not from the the other third parties uh, here the comment how many new comment can show you this one here you can write a new post uh, you can see your profile from here too I didn't add any photo that time so let's go to the post uh, you can write from here you can edit or check any post from this one you can edit the details or delete the post from here uh, you what we can show you more here the categories the categories each post has cato should have cato category uh, to index it and to, to uh, do it better uh, for indexing so if you go to categories uh, we'll see all about categories what we'll have there and even here as you see okay so here the categories we can see uh, java articles and till the end he see uh, c .net. so frequency how many means how many posts link it to this uh, category and when it's created and can delete it or update it in the categories here so uh, comments you can see how many comments you have link it to each uh, post too see this one uh, uh, the ASP and VC5 a bit slow and depend on your uh, internet or your provider uh, you can see any any comment here I, I was using the third party not using the, the local one you can even you see the if you need anything to be uh, approved so user I don't want open users I don't want to show my users you can see the users and delete or change the rules for them administrator or user or super user images same images here so sometimes your post need to uh, have image there so you can upload the image but you can manage all the images from here you can see who which, uh, which user upload this image and the size and when it's uploaded uh, you can see everything about them here it's the uh, same something let's say uh, image category or something like that gallery sorry uh, so pages he will mention something about the pages how you can create dynamic pages here too uh, I have here the three pages so if I need to edit any one of them just to say edit or I can't see the details here let's suppose details so take me to my about page if we back again I can edit this page so it will edit for me this page I can edit and do whatever I want I can publish it again from here if I want to do anything with this so let's back one more back in there uh, widgets the nice part with which one I like this one to make the website uh, more dynamic uh, so here I have many widgets I have the Facebook Twitter uh, Google advertisement uh, this as I mentioned for you to use the third party if you want I think you can use any any third party just take the script from them and post it here Google analytic so let me show you the Google adver uh, advertisement let's go edit this one so uh, as I told you you can give name and you can put here the uh, the code you copied from Google just post it here it will be applied in all your pages let me show you something maybe we can find I don't know if I have I think yeah this Google uh, sorry this Facebook so just uh, copy the code the iframe and paste it here and we'll show you when uh, which user did it and when this is the widget so let's go to the reports uh, reports as I mentioned to you can't see many things there uh, so let's suppose choose the year and say go so I'll show you here how many posts you have written in January 2017 and we'll show you for whole year you can see post and comment if you have here so here uh, percentage of using database this is something just to see how many posts you have how many user you have uh, how many num the number of the images <laughs> sorry uh, number of uh, user how many user the register monthly you can see uh, each month how many image you have upload to this all of them using the google charts uh, let's go to the settings in the settings you have here website setting email settings and the advanced settings. let's go to the website settings so uh, email settings will be for the to setting to add the setting for your email 
let me show you this first one. So as I mentioned to you in the the home page, if you go to, again one more time, I told you we can change the image, this this image and this title. So it's from the from this page, uh, website settings, you can upload any image you want. Just to choose any image, uh, it will be uploaded here. Uh, after that, copy the URL and put it here to be uh, publish it to the to the front. So you can add text here. I have a text. I think we have this one text here that will be showing there too. So here, how many the number of the posts you need to be showing, and the category as I mentioned to you in the beginning, I can put five categories or least or more as, as I want. As, as uh, how much as I want, as much as I want. So the number of the post and the number of the top post you can show there in the control panel too. So uh, there is many things you can change. Email settings, I don't think so. I have something important here. Nothing here. Just the list of postmaster just to... Uh, if someone forgets his password, if someone... Uh, yeah, most of the th most of the time they use... If someone forgets your pa his password, when uh, he say, uh, I need my password, it will be sent from this one. Uh, but I think now nowadays more people they are using uh, some degree or something similar it's easier than uh, building this one uh, and the advanced here we have many things here uh, so let's suppose I don't want this Facebook to be showing in the uh, in the button of the or the footer here I, I want to disable this one or I want to disable this one so from the control panel here I can disable anything as you can uh, disable the, regi uh, the register. I don't want anyone register just to leave people read only. I don't want anyone register. So which uh, comment you want to use? Do you want to do the third party or the local one? Uh, you want to sh show the people last post, last categories, this back to you. Everything can enable and disable it from here. So I am using the uh, Facebook login too. I just uh, put the key here and the secret key. Same for the Google recapture. You can put the key and the uh, the secret key. Uh, this very briefly, what I have done. So if you want the code, the code is in my GitHub repository. You can find it here on this link. You can upload it. And same time, I have one video talking about how to uh, to install it in your local IIS. That will be similar to how to install it. On, uh, if you want to publish it or you want to install it on uh, your, uh, uh, let's suppose in your website. Uh, this briefly what I have done on my blog. I'm sorry I couldn't talk that much about the code because believe me, it's many things I have used. Uh, entire architecture, as you see here, I split everything. But I think it's easy to understand it. I just I have here my data, my field here. Let's suppose I need my. Uh, uh, let me show you. Let's say the post. I have split everything to be easy and be. Uh, I have my services, add my interfaces here. I have my I, the, all the UIs. You can find them here uh, in the views. You can see the con the controllers here to check them. I think I have written many things here. But maybe it's hard to, to bug again and talk about each one of them. Uh, but I'm happy to answer any any question you like. Just post it in the comment. Uh, when I have time, straight away I'll reply it. Uh, that's it about my blog. And very briefly, uh, thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.